Welcome to this short series where we are playing the Redux Cartographer's Expedition for No Man's Sky. This was published on the, I think it was the 23rd of December 2023. In the first part, we made fairly um, key um, progress. And um, on the first part, we've also picked up quite a lot of stuff on, on this section. And we are just looking through, we got to adopt a companion. We got a couple of creatures hanging around here, so we can do that relatively quickly. We still got to discover one more creature, and obviously, we've got to work a lot more in that direction. So, the first thing I want to do is we're going to make some. Oh, we haven't got enough carbon. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I had some enough carbon. Let me just see. Oh, yeah. Uh, what I was doing off camera is actually pushing out a lot of it. But I want to adopt the creature first. This creatures are not my favorite thing, but we got to do it. So we'll uh, just go here where I've docked one of these guys. Kind of throw out the food for them. Uh, we'll just grab one of these. Uh, only one of the I think interact recently fed uh, we're going to adopt you okay here we are yep so we've now unlocked another mission we're going to have that creature following us I think there's a way that we can actually pack him away somewhere uh, I don't think there's any other conditions let me just see uh, okay, we've got this Vesium, Gravitino balls. Yeah, I know you're broken hearted, but I don't want you. Uh, can we get rid of you? Dismiss it. Okay, go away. I don't want you. Now, we just picked up three Gravitino balls. I'm pretty sure that those were all five, actually. Uh, so we've got that there. We're probably going to need these Gravitino balls, so we're not going to do anything with them. Now, the we've got Vesium. <laughs> don't probably need that. And the next thing I want to do is we're going to deploy our... Oh, we've got some metal plating. Oh, I've made some metal plating. Okay. And now I've got enough ferrite dust for the metal plating. So we're... Uh, because of course deploying this thing will give us the that means we've now got the ability to stomp across the planet and uh, do something so just have a quick look at the minotaur uh, exocraft we don't have a weapon we've got some environmental protection what do we need for a weapon we've got cobalt wiring loom digging laser um, uh, I think I would given a choice I think I would go with the mining laser because that gives us a kind of mixture of defense and also thing okay thank you game and I think I can also make a quantum computer let me just see Okay, we need antimatter. I'm pretty sure we can make that. We can make a quantum computer. That means we can also now pair that. That completes that stage. And we can go in here. Okay. Tab. Galactic trade ter terminal. Yeah, well, I'm not that interested in the galactic trade terminal, to be honest. Um, <laughs> what we got here? Certainly want wouldn't mind the jetpack boost and the environmental boost. Got obsidian beneath the gelatinous, whatever it is. That can go in the starship. Got that there. Right, we got. What we can do is just want to convert that rusty metal uh, offline, no fuel. <laughs> Shut that in there. We've now got that situation. 
Let's just get in our Minotaur. Uh, I don't. What do we need to charge with organic elements? Because we can stomp across the. Uh, like this. We've got no scanner. That's the only downside. But we do have the ability to. It means that we can now kind of operate here. We don't have the advanced mining lane thing, but we can pick up the basics. What have we got there? And of course, the other thing we can do there. Right, we've got phosphorus here. Um, I certainly wouldn't mind the phosphorus. We're just going to dig up this. And we find a trade terminal. Although we could build a trade terminal actually, but we can make some money because we can means we can buy stuff. Where's the phosphorus? Let's get back to mining the phosphorus. Actually, work. Do the usual thing, but mine it from the inside. Just gonna jump in the Minotaur. Um, right, so we're, we're gonna be going fairly mobile. On ahead for that. Uh, so we'll just pass this stuff here. Oops. Jump out. Pick you up. Don't need the goop, but we're take whatever's available. Okay. Right. I think what we got to do now, we got the oh, I didn't collect the reward. Okay. This is where it's gonna give me a a free mining upgrade or something, isn't it? Right, we've got a laser module. <laughs> And we got a big pile of chromatic metal. What we got here? What's this? Fuel usage. Okay, we're certainly going to have Minotaur thruster system. Environmental control unit. Um, what we got here? We've got... Wow, maybe that was a good choice. Um, actually, if we... Put you there. Okay, so we're looking reasonable. Um, probably don't need the food pallets, but we've got plenty of space. We can store that in the Minotaur. Store the crystals in the Minotaur. We've got a bit more phosphorus, which we can use. I don't want to go too overboard with that. Oh, we've got a bit of phosphorus stored in the ship. Right, um, the next thing I wouldn't mind doing is we've got to find bones. There's got a very... Right, we're, we're just going to rove around as we... Whoops, where's the thingy? Our thingy gone. Because what we got to do is we've affected... Oh, we, we can click this. We've done completed phase one now. Aha. So, click the rewards for that. We got a feasting cask customization. That's probably a permanent reward. So we've now completed phase one or phase two actually. We need to shelter inside a planetary building. We're still gonna discover another creature. We've got to chart some waypoints. I'm not exactly sure what that involves. We've got to eliminate hazardous plants. We've got to extract minerals. We've got to travel 6,000 units there. We've got a bit dig up buried items. Um, it looks like I'm not saying we've got to find ancient bones. That's what I'm really looking for. We've got to summon a mountain. Okay, we, so we've got to look for a mountain as well. We'll just head for the buried formation. I want to see if this actually counts as, a, as something that is actually buried find that does that actually count as a buried formation buried items yes okay right so 
we need to find the bones. There we are, there's a natural burial site over there. Uh, right, so that's the next thing we're going to go for. Can you, uh, yeah, we've got some advanced dihydrogen here. So, we're just going to jump out. Must admit, it's been a little while since I... Wow, got really lucky here. We got three together. Um, if I can find them. Um, oh, well, maybe it's two together. No, nope, there's two more here. Um, that, this should go pretty quickly, actually. Ah. Okay. Uh, mining beam. Certainly take the dihydrogen. Yeah, thank you, game. We okay. Well, uh, right, it's another natural burial site there, so we can hit the that. Grab this. Don't need the slime. Nanites, not exactly. Uh, grab this because of course what we've got with us now is our own kind of natural recovery point so um, what have we got here actually um, we put a mining mine it's a digging laser we could get a What's it we got here? Copper. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up the copper because you never know in this game. So we're just gonna grab the copper. It's better to have too much than not enough. Yeah, I know. We're gonna be okay. Mini mini tool. Well, actually, this this buried tech technology. Just a quick check. Dig up buried items. Does that count? Oops. No. Just gonna. I'm long shotting these damaged machinery. I'm certainly gonna take that because it means we can turn that into. Right, we've got a photon cannon. Um, what's that for? Um, for the starship. <laughs> well, that will give us another potential wiring loop. Which is another reason why I'm grabbing these thingies. 21 seconds. Me. Make sure my uh, mining beam is fully charged. And then we're going to have to deal with the rock lobby, lobster y things. I'm going to dig you out. Oh, I thought that was the last one. Um, let's see. Um, where is it? Um, we're still looking for the last creature. Dig up buried items. Where was the? What was I looking for? Oh, we need two more. Okay. Uh, I thought I got them all. We still need that missing creature though. Phosphorus, we've got a solar vine, subterranean relic. Right, we've got to find water, which is going to be a little bit of a chunk. Whoops. I'm not seeing any water around here at all, actually. Looking around. All right, we've got a buried cache over there. We're going to go for the buried cache. We 
mean, this is going to come down to pure dumb luck now, finding the water. Right, we're gonna... I think there's a bird or something just gone over. Come on, game. Let's see. Buried items, yep. So that counts. Aha. <laughs> Uh, right, we've got that. We'll put these in the Minotaur. We don't really need them for anything. We can decompose that. We've got some Herox. Right. We might as well go... Right, we've got some draining organic there. We've got another natural site over there. 700 and... Well, just gonna have to I say well we've got I got all the hazardous plants actually come to think of it as well um, we had to kill some hazardous plants where uh, no, we still we still need to kill hazardous plants okay <laughs> just stomping through the right, a little bit of sodium there whoops always got to kind of reorientate a little bit do a search for any creatures. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Another one coming in. Where are you? Hockey lobby. One more. There's only one here. Uh, I thought. Okay, let's have a look around. So we can find a copper deposit over there. Uh, so I think that we've just been to that buried cache, haven't we? Uh, we've got a sack venom. All right, there's a another natural burial site over there. I think we're going to focus on the natural burial sites and possibly hazardous plants if I can see them. Uh, just jump the chasm. Get out of there. Uh, well, the snake the crystal. There's a... I can see you, mate. Go away. Oh, okay. I walked straight into. It's all right. I can. You gave yourself away, which means I was going to get. Oh, we have to take that. Just in case we need to refine it. Although I think I've left my actual refiner behind, didn't I? This should be it for the natural burial sites, because there's two here. Um, there we are. But there's some, some more here, so we're. Again, it's just a question. I mean, we're not doing any speed run. It's about making money. If I ever find somewhere to... Right, we'll just jump into the Minotaur. Ah, uh, we've... Right, so we've now got archaeologists. We've got three planetary charts. Now... That could be useful because what that will do is it should. Um, right, we're just going to plot a route. Um, ancient ruins. Thank you, game. I always wanted ancient ruins. We've got to find some water. This is going to be the big problem. Um, we. Need any port in the storm. We still got one creature missing. I'm not exactly sure what. What was that? Ancient ruin site detected. Right, I'm just gonna kind of look round and see what we can find because I seem to be in a very desolate part of the planet. Um, right, it says I found an unknown building. 
over in this direction. There's five minutes away. We're going to go there. It's a bit of a long shot, but um, there's some carbon there and some dihydrogen. We'll take that. Right, I'm just going to tag the unknown building again. We've now got hazardous plants. What does this give us? <laughs> We've got a combat scope. We actually been given that records it records to catalog shield module. Um, we'll certainly put that in. We've got an eight. Actually, I've just thought to to make this. Uh, let me just what we got here. We've got that and the scanner. Right, we're going to put that in there. We're going to install that. I'm going to. We got the Minotaur, so we, if I dismantle that and then go to the multi-tool, we can install that. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Oh, uh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, I don't really want to tangle with Sentinels, but there is a, what we call it, over here. We're not really equipped to fight Sentinels, but we do need to drop a waypoint there. Oh! I shot the Sentinel by accident. <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and hide in the cave. Two reasons. One, that would let the Sentinels calm down a bit. Oh, go away. Right, I need these sentinels to calm down. Then we can get back to our exosuit. Right, we've deactivated the sentinels. Where is the... The minotaur is up there. Hitting me. Out of a cave, the best way is just the straight, the straight route. So, uh, away right, there's the minotaur just down there um, see if we can find another uh, buried cache over there if I got all the, if I done all the buried, I'm losing track of what I'm doing. Discover creatures, navigation waypoints, and that. Right, we've got an opportunity to pick up, pick up another item over here. Okay, we've now covered distance with the exocraft <laughs> um, where's the berry cache there it is uh, just go in that's a technology module you are lying to me game uh, there's the berry cache grab that we've now got Five items. Um, right, we've got a suspicious pulse engine a module, uh, which we've got absolutely no use for at the moment. Um, what we've got here? 
That can go to the Minotaur. 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 That can go there. We've got. Why have I only got one Exo battery in here? A bit worried about that. Not that we need it, technically. Probably don't need all that. We've got one wiring loom. That can go to the Minotaur. We'll put the wiring loom in the Minotaur as well. We don't need BCM. Uh, okay. What does that say? It says select in your log. Industrial surveying. Install the survey devices, upgrade a multi-tool analysis. I, I think I've got the survey tool in the Blania. No, that's the combat scope. It's, aha, I installed the wrong one. Okay. Uh, we're going to dismantle you. Yeah. Uh, I need that. We need a quantum computer. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, and a magnetic resonator. Okay, how many quantum computers? Yeah, I messed that up, didn't I? Um, Oops. So we can put that there. Make sure we get it. And now we need a one quantum computer. Can we make the quantum computer? Uh, we need a microprocessor. We haven't got the template for microprocessor. Uh, we've got ionized cobalt. We can right. We need more cobalt. We've got to find water on what seems to be one of the most driest planets around. Um, not so. I think what I'm going to do is we need to regroup. Uh, maybe jumping around in the middle of a storm is not particularly that good an idea. Right, right what I'm going to do now is Let's see if I can find my ship. Just keep picking up the damaged machinery as we travel. Uh, you never know what we're going to find. Um, I'm also looking for just ordinary cargo drops because there's always a chance that we can find a a microprocessor or something inside of a cargo drop. So if I just jump out there. Grab this. Grab this. Grab this. Gee. Still looking for that missing creature. Actually, we've got to get some hype. What have we got to do, actually? That's true, yeah. Let me just look at the expeditions. We do have to um, spend 16 seconds airborne. We got to summon, um, summit a mountain of six nine hundred and fifty meters. There's a mountain there, but I'm not. I don't think it's going to be that tall. But we'll give it a go. Right, we've got a mountain here. Let me just. Whoops. Let's see if we can. I'm, something tells me this might not be tall enough, but oh, we'll give it a go. 161 current elevation. No, this isn't going to be tall enough. No. We're short a few things, so that didn't work. Um, let me just look round. I'm trying to look for anything that might give us a clue where some water might be. Got a buried cache there. Uh, we'll go for the buried cache because that might give us something that's. Jumping around. Water, water. 
think we got some fairly impressive hills in that direction. I think the only thing we can do at the moment is just keep wandering across the planet. We've got to find some... Ah! Oh, great. <laughs> okay. The best way to get out of here is to actually just leave and then summon back the... But what we will do while we're here is actually pick up some cobalt. Let me just see... I think is it the... You need antimatter processors. You need ionized cobalt. So we need quite a pile of this stuff. So what? we'll take advantage of this and stock up on a pile of cobalt. So the easiest way to get a minotaur out of the hole is to... <laughs> I think there's a, another damaged machinery there. Go away, rock, Mr. Rock Lobster. Um. Right, we'll just get down here. We'll cut the dihydrogen. Keep grabbing everything in sight. ship is there that way uh, just summon in the in the tour uh, let me just see what here that's for the ship that's no good okay we uh, Right, let's just... I can make microprocessors. Make microprocessors, we need carbon nanotubes. So, we'll make four of those. How many what do we need for the multi-tool? Um, ah, we need quantum. Right, let's work through the chain. We need three of those, and to make... Um, three of those, we need ionized cobalt. Right. So here we are. We're back at the ship. And um, what we'll do is just get there. And because I'm, I'm just going to take a bit of a long shot here, we need to pick up that exit suit. Uh, I'm going to put in the cobalt. Uh, Putting the whole lot into ionized cobalt because I think I need to definitely need to install this. So we got to make the quantum computer. Uh, we need one microprocessor, one antimatter. We can make that. That means we just need the one microprocessor. Make the microprocessor. We can make that which means we can make the quantum computer we can then in install that all we got to do now is make the call it and we just need a pile of we need some magnetized ferrite okay we can make that so we can make the scanner uh, we're going to need the magnetized ferrite aren't we right we'll put that there we got Pure ferrite start by converting that. Not going to be anywhere near enough, but we can start turning that into there. And speed the process up. We're mine some pure ferrite. Get back in here to recover. We consume some oxygen. Right, we can make another one of those. And we just need magnetized ferrite. Right. That's enough for the moment. Pure ferrites. 
that. Just knock that out. Get that producing ferrite dust. And we make another one of these. Still can't build it. What's up with it now? Oh, wow, <laughs> one short. Okay. You can be very frustrating sometimes, game. Okay. Right, let me just pick up some more pure ferrite. Uh, let's get back to here. Okay, well, just pick that up. Pick that up there. Put pure ferrite in there, make some magnetize. Get that done. You up. Put that in. Make some suits. We can. We can another one of those. That means we can install the multi-tool like that. And what we can do now is go there, go to three. I think I've really struck out in this place, haven't I? There's a jettison pod over there. I just want to go and check this out. Feeling I've, I've put down in the middle. I'm absolutely no nowhere. No water. No no mineral resources. And what can we repair in the ship? I actually sat in the ship for a little while. Let's see what we can repair related to the ship. We, we can make a magnetic resonator. We'll get that repaired. That means we just need. We put the condensed carbon in. We need magro. We've got the gravitino balls. We'll put that in there. Right, we need some more ionized cobalt. Uh, uh, so I'll just I think just to finish this video off, were uh, have I got have I got any more cobalt with me? I've got 13 cobalt. That can go in the starship. Uh, get rid of this bait stuff. I I don't use it so uh, we got one oxygen we make other ones of these don't need dihydrogen jellies how much dihydrogen have I got um, a little bit so uh, we'll make a two of those um, uh, that would just give me a backup for oxygen we got uh, I think what we will do is we're uh, Turn the copper into chromatic metal. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. What I will do is a little bit of work off camera to uh, get some more ionized cobalt and stuff like that. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.